Hey guys, today is October 1st, so we're going to be doing lots of Halloween tutorials, so we wanted to kick it off with this amazing look. This is Naomi, professional makeup artist and hairstylist, Hello. she's going to tell us what she did. On this side, she did... Yeah, I did Dia de los Muertos. Um, I was inspired uh, through the month of October coming up. Uh, Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, is in November. However, you can achieve this look with going by my YouTube tutorial for today and be saving on money than costumes. You can just dress it up with a simple black dress. And this and side is very beauty. Side. This wasn't very hard to do. Um, she's beautiful as it is. Uh, we just put on a little blush to accentuate the beauty. All of the products that she used will be listed below, so definitely check below the description bar. And I will have all of her links as well. So stay tuned to see how she transformed me. First thing Naomi does is section my hair and then take small sections and curl them with an inch and a half curling iron and then release the curl into your hands and pin it to your head. Once all your hair is curled and pinned up, apply primer all over your face. Naomi is using Max Prep and Prime which has SPF 50 and gives your makeup long lasting power. She also applied another primer called Lightful. Once the face is primed, she lightly sketches a line down my forehead. She begins applying a white face paint to the left side of my face and she uses face paint palette from Michaels which is Safe and it washes right off with soap and water not to mention it's very inexpensive and in between each paint makeup application Naomi sprays Fix Plus on my face to help better maneuver the colors. Naomi is using a paint pot to draw an upside down sort of tear shape around my eye. You can draw any shape that you like. And then she uses her hand as like the dipping palette and she draws semicircles around the shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry, because you can always trace over it when you're filling it in. black paint to fill in that tear shape and now she's using a red paint to fill in the petals. Once all the petals were filled in, Naomi used a black paint to make the petals pointed and then drew an upside down triangle on my nose and filled it in with black paint. 
Now she's starting to create the skeleton by painting the bones down my neck and my chest, even on my ears. And then she's going to highlight my collarbone with the splitter to make it pop. Naomi painted a spider web on my forehead and then she used an eggplant colored lip mix for my lipstick. She mixed it with Fix Plus and then she applied it just to my bottom lip. Using black paint, she drew stitches on my lips. Then she took a burgundy colored pigment and dabbed it onto the petals using her fingers. 